Have you ever looked at a map and wondered why airplanes don't take a straight line over the Pacific Ocean? It seems counterintuitive, right? After all, when you look at a flat map, it appears that the shortest route between two points should be a straight line. Shouldn't the shortest distance between two points be a straight line? This is a common assumption many people make. While this is true in theory, the reality of air travel is a bit more complex. The Earth is not flat, and this changes everything when it comes to plotting flight paths. Several factors influence flight paths over vast oceans like the Pacific. It's not just about distance, it's about efficiency, safety, and practicality. These factors range from geographical considerations and technical limitations to safety regulations and even wind patterns. For instance, pilots often take advantage of the jet streams to save fuel and time. In this exploration of trans-Pacific flights, we will delve into the fascinating reasons behind these seemingly circuitous routes. We will look at how pilots and airlines make these decisions. We will uncover how geography, technology, and safety all play a role in shaping the airways over the world's largest ocean. The vast expanse of the Pacific presents unique challenges and opportunities. From the curvature of the Earth to the availability of emergency landing sites, every detail is meticulously planned. Airplane maintenance and safety checks are also crucial before embarking on such long journeys. Buckle up and prepare for takeoff as we embark on a journey to understand the intricacies of flying over the Pacific. This journey will reveal the hidden complexities and marvels of modern aviation. The Pacific Ocean is immense. It covers a significant portion of the Earth's surface, spanning nearly a third of the planet. This vastness presents unique challenges for air travel. Imagine flying from Los Angeles to Tokyo. A straight line on a map might suggest flying directly west over the Pacific. However, this direct route would mean flying over thousands of miles of open water. This lack of land mass poses significant challenges for airplanes in terms of fuel efficiency and emergency landing options. Planes, unlike cars or trains, cannot simply stop on the side of the road or tracks if something goes wrong. They require specific infrastructure and support systems, which are primarily located on land. Here's a mind-bending fact. The Earth is not flat. This seemingly obvious truth has significant implications for long-distance air travel, especially over the Pacific. When we look at maps, they often depict the Earth as flat. This two-dimensional representation distorts the reality of our planet's spherical shape. As a result, the seemingly straight line on a map between two points across the Pacific is actually a much longer distance than a curved path that takes advantage of the Earth's curvature. This phenomenon is why flights from North America to Asia often fly north, closer to the Arctic Circle, before turning south towards their destination. Fuel efficiency is paramount for airlines, not only for cost effectiveness, but also for environmental reasons. Airlines are constantly seeking ways to reduce their carbon footprint and minimize fuel consumption. This pursuit of efficiency plays a significant role in determining flight paths, especially over long distances like those across the Pacific. While flying in a straight line might seem like the most fuel efficient option, the Earth's curvature and wind patterns often dictate otherwise. Airlines utilize sophisticated computer programs that calculate the most fuel-efficient routes, taking into account factors like wind speed, direction, and altitude. These routes, known as Great Circle routes, often involve flying in a curved path, which can be shorter and more fuel-efficient than a straight line on a map. Section 5, ETOPS, Keeping Twin Engine Planes Safe Over Water the acronym ETOPS stands for Extended Range Twin Engine Operational Performance Standards. These standards are crucial for ensuring the safety and efficiency of twin engine aircraft, especially during long-haul flights over vast remote areas like oceans. In simpler terms, it refers to the regulations that govern how far twin engine airplanes can fly away from a suitable landing airport. This is particularly important for flights that traverse large bodies of water, where emergency landing options are scarce. These regulations are particularly stringent for flights over water, where alternative landing options are limited. The vast expanse of the ocean presents unique challenges, making it imperative for aircraft to adhere to these safety standards. ETOPS regulations are in place to ensure the safety of passengers and crew in case of an engine failure. Regular maintenance and rigorous safety checks are conducted to comply with these regulations, ensuring that every flight is as safe as possible. While modern aircraft are incredibly reliable, the possibility of an engine failure cannot be entirely ruled out. 
Therefore, ETOPS regulations mandate that twin-engine planes must be capable of reaching a diversion airport within a specified time frame, even with one engine inoperative. ETOPS regulations require twin-engine aircraft flying over water to stay within a certain distance of a suitable diversion airport. This ensures that in the unlikely event of an engine failure, the aircraft can safely land at the nearest airport. This distance is determined by the aircraft's ETOP certification which varies depending on its design and engine reliability. The certification process involves rigorous testing and evaluation to ensure that the aircraft can safely operate within the specified ETOPS limits. Section 6. The North Pacific, a popular choice for Trans-Pacific flights. If you examine a map of Trans-Pacific flight routes, you'll notice a concentration of flights over the North Pacific. This concentration is not accidental. The North Pacific region offers several advantages for air travel, making it a preferred route for many airlines. One significant advantage is the presence of favorable wind patterns. The jet stream, a band of strong winds high in the atmosphere, flows from west to east across the North Pacific. Airlines can take advantage of this tailwind to reduce flight times and fuel consumption. Additionally, the North Pacific region offers more diversion airport options compared to the Central or South Pacific. Section 7. Emergency Landings. The Importance of Being Close to Land. Imagine an airplane experiencing a technical issue mid-flight over the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean. The closest landmass might be hundreds if not thousands of miles away. In such a situation, the availability of a suitable diversion airport becomes paramount. This is why flight paths over the Pacific are carefully planned to ensure that airplanes are always within a safe distance of a potential diversion airport. Emergency landings, while rare, are a reality of air travel. Airlines prioritize the safety of their passengers and crew by adhering to strict regulations and choosing routes that minimize the distance to potential landing sites in case of an emergency. Section 8. Winds of Change jet streams and their impact on flight paths. The Earth's atmosphere is in constant motion, with powerful air currents circling the globe. These currents, known as jet streams, have a significant impact on flight paths, especially over long distances like those across the Pacific. Jet streams are like rivers of wind, flowing at high speeds in specific directions. Pilots can utilize these jet streams to their advantage, catching a tailwind to reduce flight times and fuel consumption. Conversely, Flying against the jet stream can significantly increase flight times and fuel burn. This is why airlines carefully analyze wind patterns and adjust flight paths accordingly to optimize efficiency and minimize the impact of these powerful air currents. Section 9. The Future of Trans-Pacific Flights, New Routes and Technologies The world of aviation is constantly evolving, with new technologies and innovations emerging all the time, these advancements are opening up new possibilities for trans-Pacific flights, including the potential for new routes and more efficient aircraft. One area of active research and development is the development of new, more fuel-efficient aircraft designs. These next-generation airplanes could potentially open up new routes across the Pacific, enabling airlines to fly further and more efficiently. Additionally, Advancements in air traffic control systems and navigation technologies are making it safer and more efficient to manage the increasing volume of air traffic over the Pacific. Section 10. So, are Trans-Pacific flights safe? Given the vastness of the Pacific Ocean and the challenges it presents for air travel, it's natural to wonder about the safety of Trans-Pacific flights. The good news is that flying over the Pacific is incredibly safe. Airlines and aviation authorities adhere to stringent safety regulations and protocols to ensure the well-being of passengers and crew. Aircraft maintenance is meticulous, pilot training is rigorous, and flight paths are carefully planned to minimize risks and maximize safety. While the vastness of the Pacific might seem daunting, rest assured that air travel over this mighty ocean is incredibly safe and continues to become even safer with each passing year. Section 11. Conclusion The Wonders of Modern Aviation As we've explored in this journey across the Pacific, the seemingly simple act of flying over an ocean is a testament to human ingenuity and the wonders of modern aviation. The ability to traverse such vast distances in a matter of hours is nothing short of miraculous. From understanding the Earth's curvature which allows pilots to navigate with precision, to harnessing the power of jet streams which can significantly reduce travel time and fuel consumption, 
airlines and aviation experts work tirelessly behind the scenes to make Trans-Pacific flights safe, efficient, and reliable. Their dedication ensures that every aspect of your flight is meticulously planned and executed. So the next time you board a flight across the Pacific, take a moment to appreciate the complex interplay of factors that make your journey possible. From the engineering marvels of the aircraft itself to the seamless coordination of ground and air operations, from the pilots who navigate the skies with skill and precision, to the air traffic controllers who keep the airways safe and ensure smooth passage for every flight, countless individuals work diligently to connect continents and cultures through the miracle of flight. Their combined efforts make it possible for us to explore new horizons and experience the world in ways that were once unimaginable.